Good morning everybody and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. <clears throat> so uh, a couple of things happened over the weekend. So obviously the stimulus package uh, was uh, voted and signed off on Saturday. So uh, that should impact the <coughs> the indexes somewhat. Uh, we also have uh, oil rising very quickly at the moment because uh, there seems to be an attack on one of the Saudi oil facilities right now. So uh, that being said, you know I think the the trend that we had starting yesterday uh, not yesterday sorry but uh, friday was actually the confirmation of that trend we've had the rejection up here and we sort of broken through the low end of or the bottom end of this range so i just want to move this level to there that's our new level right now and you can see we're sort of finding some support down or well, not yet but we'll probably find support down here at 118.781 so uh, shorts is the favor of the day for a euro usd and what we're looking for here is quite simply pullbacks for us to sell into so friday was a bit messy you can see we had a good jobs number come out then we had uh, sort of the the noise around the stimulus package which is why you, so much uh, so many tails here there's not an area i want to be short i would like to see a retest of 119.571 we can get that kind of retest that would be ideal but the second part of that um, concern in my voice is the fact that that would break the trend line so um, yeah it, it's kind of 50-50 uh, at the moment I think maybe what you should be looking for in actual fact is wait for the break we've got the break here of 119.053 wait for the retest wait for the open see what happens and uh, if it does continue, then you're looking for a short on this break here. Uh, what I just want to do is if you've managed to get in somewhere around here, that's a 340 point stop loss. So that's uh, kind of um, worthwhile. Okay, so those are the two scenarios. Break and retest down here, 119.053, or a rejection of 119.571. Those are the two scenarios. Uh, if we look at uh, USD Japanese Yen, I don't like the look of this chart uh, for any longs at the moment. The trend is up. We should be looking for longs. But if you look at how we are moving away from the moving averages, this is going parabolic. And then you have a pin bar, a really nasty pin bar up here. just want to put a level in here because a break below that validates bearish price action. So if we look at the hour, you can see there's the bottom of our, uh, our pin bar. So any break below this level gives us sort of a confirmation of a double top, which would be that scenario over there. Let me just put that in. I don't see any levels in, but there is a little bit of structure there. So that's where we're going to aim for. Okay, so going against uh, going short on this market is against the trend so uh, not that i would be advising that i would rather look for opportunities to buy in to continue to the upside the first area is obviously going to be somewhere near this tail that we have here we do have another little bit of a structure there so a buy back in at 108.095 or 108.015 108.015 and then 108.095. So those are the two that you're looking for. So this is uh, pretty much 108 area. So we're looking for price to come back into 108 and maybe form a range before getting an opportunity to be in. Uh, no reason to be long or short at the moment. That's the reality. Next step would be a break above this area here. So break and retest above there would be a long entry. It's 108.540. Uh, but for me, I think a deeper pullback would be a better option to get in on that. Uh, British pound, Japanese yen, nothing really happening. We are going sideways. Um, we had a good uh, solid week, then formed a bit of a flag. And it looks like that flag is breaking. So we broke, we gapped up, broke the flag to the upside. We're now coming back. Now, the structure that we're coming back onto which is pretty much, you can see these tails here, there's more tails there. This area is what we need to be watching. That's 149.712. So if we can come back there, find some support, 
then you'd be looking for an opportunity to buy into this. So uh, this is something I'll be watching at the European Open. So we've really sort of got a bit of a fall here. I don't think that's really going to be anything to, to write home about right now. I think wait for you. This is just the Asian session right now. And there is a bit of chaos happening in Saudi Arabia right now. So you know, who knows what the what people are thinking at the moment. So it's, for me, just wait and, wait and watch for this. But this does look like a flag break to me. So I'm looking for opportunities to buy into this. And I'm looking to target somewhere up there at 159.44 which does break above this previous swing high as well. So that could be pretty interesting in its own merit. So that's kind of that view at the moment. So oscillators don't really agree with us, but we are above the moving averages. We are trending. You can see we've got these pin bars off, uh, off structure. Well, pick any one of these tails here. But uh, yeah, that's kind of that move there. Uh, could also just form a, a broader channel, which also what it looks like. So. Yeah, just be, I think, be wary. It is Monday as well, so be wary with this pair. Yeah, if you look at the 15 minutes, it's above and below. No real trend on the 15, except for these diversions here. Big diversions here. Yeah, I'm looking to buy this. Looking to buy this for a move up. So that's my plan for this at the open. Uh, 139.44 is my target. Um, Aussie dollar, US dollar. So again, big move down, consolidation move down. Uh, we then gapped up and we're now sort of coming back down so at the moment now you can see we had a pretty decent gap up come back look at the one hour trend is still down look at my oscillators this is sort of an area we should be watching to sell into uh, personal opinion here uh, but this area here of 077359 or alternatively 077208 uh, I'd be looking to sell into this as far as I'm concerned we have a trend down uh, pullback consolidation and we're starting to trend down again until we get above the moving averages and the moving averages cross up and part pointing up this trend is down trade with the trend so looking for pullbacks onto structure could also go as high as this area here which is 077521 or even 077681. So that is the probability. I mean, you can get up to there as well. Just bear that in mind. Look at our oscillator. It is telling us we are close to some kind of a level. I would expect another squirt up there. Another squirt up on the structure, rejection there, and then short from the top. Uh, Euro Japanese. No, that's not yours. That's Euro British Pound. So Euro British Pound, uh, Bob wire. Look at these tails. Uh, look at all those tails up, tails down, tails up, tails down. Pin bar rejection. Uh, trend is down. It means that we should be going with the trend, but the last couple of days have been sort of all over the place. I'm kind of uh, reluctant to get into this at the moment. You know, we should be looking for continuation of the downside. But often when you see this kind of price action, when you're above and below the moving averages, uh, sort of after a long trend down, that's normally a, a period of consolidation, indecision as to whether the trend continues or whether the trend reversals. So that's kind of what I see at the moment. And Friday was massive up, massive down. No reason to, to be looking for anything on yet. So ultimately, if longs, are going to come in to play above 086520 okay so that's kind of that view at the moment I don't think I want to be short not with what I see at the moment and definitely don't want to be long because you could might as well just flip a coin here uh, British pound New Zealand dollar so uh, we had a bit of a, a bit of a rocky start to the week and then we sort of accelerated up and we closed above uh, some structure and the structure that I was talking about is 193.709 or 706. Uh, we've gapped down and we're sort of just hovering around the bottom here. It is Monday, typical price action for a Monday when there's nothing happening. And uh, if you look at what's happened, we've gapped down onto structure, 192.886. Look at my oscillators at the moment, grouped nicely. Uh, what is this? 
tell us this tells us that we have a potential flag brewing so obviously we want to see a move up pull back bounce around off structure here and then continue to the upside so this is going to be a pretty good 15 minute uh, chart today i think uh, you can see we're just kind of hovering here we should get back close this gap just watch these moving averages on the 15 uh, make sure we don't reject this area we reject this area in after hours trading yeah don't worry too much about it wait for the market to open but at this stage i think this is looking like we're going to have a consolidation block here and then it's going to be either a break below or a break above and that pretty much what's going to dictate the the order of the day uh break to the downside you can see your structure here not much of a move You're down to 192.640 so i kind of favor the moves to the upside that's kind of what i'm looking for there's more scope to the upside moving to the downside you're going to be stopped by the structure here and uh, if you missed by these tails here where we have turned you can see then it's this tail this tail that tail so yeah trend is up oscillators group nicely diversions here on the hour that's low higher low 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 uh, forming a flag broken the flag yep for me 15 minutes wait for structure wait for a break and a pull back to retest a, a lower time frame breakout and then long it is okay target is obviously going to be this previous high up here of one nine three eight seven two that's your first target second target is going to be a little bit higher than that around let's be a bit conservative here around one nine four eight seven one anyway that's it for me on forex today quite a bit brewing so um just pay attention put your levels in put your alerts in and watch what's going on anyway hope it helps and we'll catch up with you later cheers for now